everyone, how are you doing? My name is Joanna Henley. I'm an artist and creative mentor from South Wales, based in Portugal. Thank you, Cass, for inviting me to share a really exciting project with you, which I've been tampering with for quite some months now. So I'm really excited to share this with you. I am going to take you along on a journey on my processes and inspiration to create a mural at home. So I've been creating murals for almost two decades, from live murals for events, ad campaigns, to installations, launching design festivals, design week, boutiques in Brompton Road and Notting Hill, and all using Liquitex acrylic paints. Never ever <laughs> created one in my home, so I'm going to demystify that process for you and give you some options. Um, this project will run over the next few weeks, so I'm really inviting you to get involved and have a think about whether it's possible for you to do one in your home. I would love to hear what you think. Here's some of my sketches and also a printout of my mood board. And it has a collection of really expressive flowers. This inspired and photographs from Portuguese tiles that are in my neighborhood and in my city which are a huge influence and there's the reference to the blue. Got botanical, turn of the century drawings and lots of dense, gorgeous Dutch still life. What I love about the Liquitex soft body is this just gorgeous fluidity that works so well with my line and yeah, it's been amazing to collaborate with over the last 10 years. There are a couple of considerations that I'm going to keep quite simple. One, with any mural project, with any art piece that lives on a wall, in a space, in an environment, we need to consider the other people that are sharing that environment with us. Next consideration is the environment so not just about the people that share the environment with you the furniture that shares the environment with you the architectural details what makes that wall in responding to them you can make them a feature you can take hard lines and soften them with curves but we can talk a bit more about that later when working with large scale it's a big jump even for somebody that's been painting in murals for many years we're not doing it every day, but that opportunity to work large scale and use our body in a different way allows such an expansive expression of flow. And it's so nice to work in a playful and an intuitive way. And I'm working with Fabriano paper here. Nothing's too special. Somewhere where I can kind of mess up and it's not about the outcome. I'm just finding lines. So I hope you feel motivated to do the same too. And I'll see you back here in a few weeks time.